Hello, everyone. Welcome to the PFP graduation. We're really pleased to be able to host the third annual graduation of the PFPs. We've been hosting graduations since 2020, virtually because of the pandemic. It's kind of a sign of the times. But today we decided to do something a little bit different. And I'm here with, with um, Carissa Lucreziano, who is going to talk to the graduates um, about financial planning. Um, so we're doing a virtual in-person graduation and we're really pleased that you could join. So congratulations to the graduates. We have 454 graduates this year receiving the PFP. And those PFPs join the 5,691 holders of the PFP that are already in place. And so we're really pleased to have you with the PFP family. The PFP is a demanding program. Our focus is on proficiency, but also on building your confidence and competence. So every grad can hold their head up high as a PFP holder. The role of CSC is really to give you the learning that you need and to be able to attest to your knowledge and proficiency so that when you're out on the market, people can be confident that as a PFP, you're delivering the right advice. And in that respect, we serve all of the Canadian financial institutions, but also the public at large that you serve. We also seek to make your PFP visible. And we do that by giving you a badge. And so we encourage you to post your badges to make them visible. I see many of the badges. I congratulate lots of you on your badges. We're really, really pleased with the visibility campaign that we both do together. So today, I'm really pleased to be with Carissa Lucriciano. And she is VP, uh, Vice President of Financial and Investment Advice at CIBC. She is also the chair of our council. And the council serves to ensure that the, we, they work with us on the strategy, but also to make sure that the exams are testing what they need to test. So they're really looking at the relevance and the, the rigorousness of the testing. Yes. So we'll turn it over to Carissa, and she's going to talk to the graduates about the PFP. Thanks so much, Marie. Happy to be here, and congratulations to all of the PFP graduates. What a great accomplishment on your career journey in the profession of financial planning. We know Canadians need financial advice now more than ever, whether it be to start to map out future goals, get a handle on financial management, or continue to evolve their plan towards accumulating wealth into the future. Advice, guidance, and providing financial education through the profession of financial planning can make the world of difference to a client, their family, and the goals that they will be able to achieve into the future. We know that financial well-being is on the minds of Canadians today more than ever. CIBC, at CIBC we recently conducted a financial literacy poll. And what we found is that Canadians rate their level of financial literacy and overall financial wellness as 6 out of 10. 50% of Canadians feel that they need to get a better handle on their finances, specifically financial management, but they feel the best way to get this uh, financial knowledge and improve their financial knowledge is through an advisor. Working with a financial advisor provides peace of mind, reduces stress, and increases wealth accumulation for the future. Through the professional financial planning and advice, Canadians have the opportunity to increase their confidence and build well-being. You have the opportunity to elevate this experience and to make a lasting impact on the lives of your clients through your professional designation. As you move forward into your career, consider how you can continue to build those foundational lifelong relationships with your clients. Be a source of timely insights. How do market events and environments affect your client's plans and their current financial situation? Be that voice of clarity. Be a trusted source of advice. Sharing professional details of one finances isn't easy. And some may even feel reserved based on their financial knowledge or their personal situation congratulate them on their milestones and show them that they can achieve their goals. Foundational education on financial management is key. Put an emphasis on financial literacy. Help educate your clients along the way and build their financial confidence. The landscape of advice is ever-changing and it will continue to evolve over the, over the years and clients expect to have good sound advice in the moment. We need to be able to connect with our clients, whether that be in person, online, or on the phone. Uh, you know, there are more than 40, you know, financial institutions that provide advice, products, services, and advice, you know, and the choices are endless. As a final word of advice is as you embark on the next phase of your career journey, remember that the goal is to help clients reach their life ambitions. That's what the designation is all about. 
it's not just about the numbers, you know, saving X amount of dollars over the next 20 years for retirement. It's really about that client and that family that has worked hard over the last 40 years that has finally reached their goal and milestone where they can retire comfortably, spend time with their family, their loved ones, their grandkids, and get back to that hobby that they put aside for all those years. The PFP designation has given you the skills to succeed in this environment and the confidence through a professional designation to evolve along with it. Congratulations and best success in your journey in the profession of advice. Well, thank you so much, Carissa. Such wise words uh, that you can take. I think it's really important to, to look at your, the role that you play with the public. And I think you've really emphasized that today. Thank you. So we're really pleased also to recognize three students uh, that have had the most outstanding marks in the PFP. We have done this every year. And so I'm pleased to congratulate Ching Ho Chan, who was our first prize winner of the excellence, uh, Prize of Excellence, Igor Kaminsky, who is our second prize winner, and Gregory James Yorick Kurtz, who is our third prize winner. So congratulations to the three winners. They've received uh, a special award that marks this award of excellence for the PFP. Now let's turn to the rest of the graduates and make sure that you all see your names. Normally you file up on stage, and get a piece of paper, but we're not able to do that virtually, but we're able to give you um, a, a kind of semi-graduation with the um, with your names being, uh, being displayed. With that, you'll be able to uh, carry on with your PFP and do keep coming back to CSI for resources, for the webinars that we offer our designation holders, for future graduations, because we hope to see you with other uh, qualifications, and obviously a chance to give back. You're giving back to your clients, giving back to the community, and really being a true, honorable PFP. So let's roll the graduates. So congratulations to everyone, to all the PFPs. Carissa, uh, it's been a pleasure to have you on stage Thank with me you. and to be able to do this virtual graduation. And so go out and give the best advice possible to your client clients. Thank you so much. And we'll be posting the, the video so you can repost it out there. Make yourselves known and make it, make it available to your family and your friends. Thank you so much. Have a great day.